Next up, we have Cornish Game Hen. Uh, the chef grabbed brandy for their alcohol. It's finished with a uh, roasted potato and also a plantain mash. Delicious. Um, this individual is plating like an angel. It's plating that we're used to seeing in the finale. And that's exactly where she's landed in the finals. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to mm -hmm. Fox Soul's Black Report. Chef Pilar Omega is in the running of becoming America's Next Level Chef. Yes, she's in the finale. It's going to air tonight on Fox, and it's it's the style, it's the attention to detail, the, the training that has taken her this far. We want to welcome my Detroit homegirl, Chef Pilar Omega, to Fox Soul's Black Report. Oh, hey God. there. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pilar, how you doing? I'm nervous, excited, all of the emotions that comes along with this two-hour season finale that we have Girl, today. That's, that's all right. That's this. all right. So many of us are rooting for you. Mm -hmm. And so tell us, you know, Chef Pilar, we learned from the show that you've worked with some pretty big names. You've worked on some pretty big events. How did you get started? And, and just tell us what your origin story is. Well, I'm a native Detroiter. I mm -hmm. went to Wayne State University, studied nutrition and food science, and I found myself in the kitchen. Um, and I moved to Los Angeles with the hopes of just becoming a chef. And somehow I ended up in Wolfgang Puck Catering. I had no idea what I was about to embark on, what journey was before me. And I was just was able to do all the biggest, fabulous events year after year, the Oscars, the Emmy, the SB Awards, movie premieres, Fabulous, million dollar weddings, hmm. you name it, I was a part of it. Wow, talk, talk about getting and staying in alignment with your purpose and your gifts and your talents so that you've had this incredible journey and it has led you to next level chef. Talk a little bit about this opportunity and how it came about. Well, I actually applied for season one Okay. and I obviously didn't get a call back. Um, and I just decided to just try one more time. So I applied for season two, and it was a very long casting process, mm. like about six months of just interviews and doctor's notes and physicals. And after six months, they finally called and said, you made it and you have to be ready to film in two weeks. <laughs> wow. Well, wow. you, well, you clearly you got that call. And you were ready. <laughs> clearly you were ready. Uh, well, it's stay you, ready. Uh, I know that's right. Because when you stay ready, you ain't got to what? Get ready. Come on now. <laughs> Interview over. Drop mic. <laughs> it's a wrap. So, so Chef Pilar, you know, we notice a lot of you chefs on the show talk about the pressure mm -hmm. of the food grab. What's that like? Explain it to those who may not understand the concept of the food grab. The platform is terrifying. Number one, you don't know what's going to be on the platform. You have no control of the ingredients and it's like blinders. It's 30 seconds, but you really only see what's right in front of you. There are times when stuff will make it to another floor and another level and you're like, I didn't even see that protein or I didn't even see that vegetable. It's so intense. And then you have these three amazing mentors <laughs> That add the extra pressure on top of the way the show is set up, the competition, it was intense. It, it is so physical and so chaotic, a lot of confusion. Mm. And I'll be like, hey, watch my girl now, hold, hold on, hold on. I mean, no wonder you had to take physicals and, and blood tests and, and give up your first board and, and carry it on. Listen, Chef Pilar, we, we have a clip uh, so the soulmates can actually see what happens. It's from earlier this season, and we think it's very fitting now that you have made it to the finale. So let's, let's all take a look here. Pilar, talk to me about your ingredients. I have squid. My vision is a Frito Misto with the coconut curry sauce. Why are you here today? I'm here to prove that with dedication and passion, you can make it places like here. I'm ready. I see it in your eyes, girl. You look fierce. You're going to leave here with $250,000. No other choice. I believe no in you. No other way. We love that. I'm hungry now, by the way. I know that coconut yeah, curry yeah, sounds good right about now. Yeah, baby. We know everything you do is for your beautiful daughter. Talk about what this, you know, what this will mean for you and her, um, you know, if you were to walk away as the next level chef. It would mean the world to me. Um, the catering industry, culinary industry is very demanding. 
So I've had to make a lot of sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And this would just prove that they were all worth the sacrifice. Nothing went in vain. And just being on the show for me, getting recognition is already proven that my hard work and sacrifice hasn't gone in vain. Mm -hmm. It certainly has. We really enjoy watching you. Yeah. Um, so tell us, what's next for Chef Pilar? Are you coming home to Detroit to open a restaurant or what? People want to <laughs> no, know. No God. pressure, no pressure. <laughs> There's so much in store. I, it's so many opportunities coming my way. I'm excited to do some things in Detroit. I'm excited to start launching a brand, work on a cookbook. Just all the things that I've been wanting to work on. I feel like I didn't have the platform. Um, I was just like this hidden gem in the mm -hmm. culinary world. And now I feel like I finally get recognition and I'm discovered as, you know, up and coming chef. Yeah, we will definitely be watching tonight. Before before we um, let you go, uh, you, you mentioned you've done million dollar weddings. I know sometimes they don't like you talking about it. What is it called? An NDA. Uh, but it is wedding season. Uh, could you maybe share with us whose wedding you've catered or maybe the best um, tips when it comes to trying to find the best caterer for your occasion? Either or, or maybe a little both on that. We'd love to hear who are some of your favorite celebrity weddings that you've catered. Um, I obviously did sign NDAs, but I Dang. will say um, the most fabulous wedding of uh, was at the Dolby um, where they do the Oscars. Mm -hmm. This couple had over two million dollars worth of flowers, and I was just oh. like, "Oh my god!" Oh, I think for any event, it's just finding a caterer or event stylist that aesthetically is what you want. Mm -hmm. It goes for what your style is. Every event is different. You don't. You can follow your own lane. That's the best part about catering is you have the option to just create the experience that you want your guests to have. Yeah, I was asking um, Decord a lot to ask you how we can link up and follow and stay in touch with you on social media. That's what I was trying to yes. tell before they flipped the camera. Well, back. Well, well, go, ahead and, go ahead and ask her, Courtney. <laughs> I am on all platforms, Chef Pilar Omega. I got content coming. You can see my journey from the beginning, some of my old content from when I was coming up in the industry. So you can really see, you know, my first YouTube that I did 12 years ago wow. that's still getting views. So, you know, it's been a journey. It's been progression. And I'm just excited to just be now recognized yeah. for all the hard work you put in. Because sometimes you're just in the kitchen and no one knows who you are. And, you know, it, it, it feels good to finally hear judges of that level, Gordon Ramsay, Richard Blaze, and Aisha Arrington, Top giving me those compliments. That yeah. was the best part. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, we're excited to do our part mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that more people know about you and are rooting for you uh, tonight. Uh, but I've got to ask you real quick for for those who may not be advanced culinary geniuses <laughs> like yourself. You know, you know, are there are there some basic tips that you would offer to folks out there who may not have the money to be able to to, you know, have a you know, a pricey uh, meal somewhere, but, uh, you know, at home want to attempt to give their loved one the Chef Pilar experience. Mm. Is that person? That's sound like a personal question, Nicole. All about the flavors. It's all about flavors. Just up your seasoning game, up your sauces. Even if there's, you know, store bought, that's fine. Add some butter to everything and it's better. Oh. And butter just cooking with butter love. Butter makes it better. Butter does. When make you it cook better. with love, everybody feels it. So any effort with love is. It's good. Yeah. It'll be a good dinner. Yeah. Well, we love you. Best of uh, luck tonight. Peace and blessings. <laughs> uh, we'll be watching out. Chef Pilar, thank you so much for joining us today. You're an official Thanks. soulmate. We'll definitely have you back. That's for sure. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for having me. Indeed.